99% of the time we have racers in this room and uh, we talk about innovation. Some people call it cheating, but we call it innovation. Mm -hmm. And uh, we get some pretty good stories out of these guys about some of the things they've done to their race cars, right? Yep. And there's a lot of rumors and conversation, particularly now in baseball, about what guys do to get an advantage. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the more creative things that you've heard about uh, in your career or saw or witnessed that guys did, whether they were hitters or pitchers, to try to find an advantage or create an advantage? I mean, pretty much everything that in baseball, I would assume – is has been discovered been talked about or what are some of the things maybe not even illegal maybe things that are are legal that guys do to try to try to create uh an advantage for themselves you have two substances that are allowed in baseball rosin you see the rosin bag back behind mm -hmm. the mound and you have pine tar mm -hmm. pine tar is only allowed by the hitters all right only allowed to be used by the hitters which I find crazy, okay? So there are two substances, and the hitters can use both rosin and pine tar. You know, you, you, you dab a little pine tar on your bat, you throw the rosin on it uh, to help kind of uh, give it some, sub, some substance, and then you hit the pine tar again. Now you've got a sticky substance that stays for a while, okay? Pitchers are only allowed rosin which I never understood. And I think we could take care of everything that's going on right now if Major League Baseball allowed the pitchers to be able to use a finite bit of pine tar for grip. Now, the stuff that they're talking about right now is called spider tack. Mm. You can literally rub this stuff on those two fingers and pick the ball up and have it hang <laughs> off your two fingers. Yeah. Okay? It's that sticky. Okay, like I need so I had never put it on my fingers before. I needed a razor blade to scrape it off of my fingers. It was so sticky. All right. When you're talking about being able to touch a baseball and pick it up. Now you're talking about some serious grip. Everything that baseball revolves around right now in the analytics world is if you're a pitcher revolves around spin rate. Okay, mm -hmm. so if your fastball spins faster than other people's fastballs, it's going to ride. It's gonna, it's gonna act like it's it's got more, ninety four miles an hour is gonna look like ninety seven. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So, um, or if you're throwing a curveball, all right. If your spin rate is higher on your curveball, it's gonna do what? It's gonna break more. All right. So this is a substance that. Major League Baseball really felt like they needed to uh, curtail right away because it was getting out of hand. Um, for them to do it mid-season and not at the beginning of the year uh, was a little uh, uh, curious, um, but obviously they felt strongly about it. Um, to your point, I've, I've – Sammy Sosa got caught corking his bat, you know. All you do is you drill out the middle of your – of the top of your bat, and you stuff cork down in there. You have a big 35-inch bat that maybe weighs, we'll say, we'll say 33 ounces. Okay, um, that's a big bat in today's uh, game. But if you hollow out the middle and stuff cork in there, cork is a lighter substance mm -hmm. than wood. So now you're making a 33-ounce bat, 31 and a half, 32-ounce bat, more bat speed. You know, I mean, mm. you got that spongy part in there that, that acts as – did you ever – when you were a kid, did you ever uh, take the end out of your uh, uh, metal bats and put tennis balls in there? Yes. And did you see how much more yeah. the ball carried, you yeah. know, or jumped off the bat whenever that was the Who, case? Who's going to cork your bat? Oh, that you, you got to do yourself. You're doing it yeah. yourself. There's you're not a cork guy. There's not a guy there's not corking. A, there's not a cork guy. I've never, <laughs> I've never run into the cork guy. <laughs> there's got to be a cork guy. <laughs> Let me ask you a question too. So, um, is there anything? Uh, you talked about the pine tar and stuff. Is there anything unique to the application? And is there ways, certain ways, guys prefer to do that, or does that sh just go on? It doesn't matter. Because it looks, it's a mess, so it's hard to see yeah, any yeah. kind of purpose behind how it's ap how it's applied. Most guys, most guys use sunscreen and rosin, which makes kind of a, a gluey 
type of you know yeah. feel to it. The thing about it is, is you have to find somewhere. You can't do it on your hat. Easily visible. Um, you, I guess during day games, you know, when it's sunny, you can't outlaw sunscreen, you know, because guys want to protect their skin. Sure. You know, um, the trouble is when you put sunscreen on during a night game. That's that's the problem. <laughs> get some, okay. Get, get um, some answers. So I think you could probably get away with it um, in day games, but. If you know, if you don't pitch a, a day game for four or five starts, you could get your lunch handed. But for a to batter, you. like what? It, how, what? What's? Is there any secret to the application? Is there any for, certain way you no, do it? No, because just, pine tar. Pine tar is all we need. You know, I mean, there's you, there's no other substance a hitter a hitter would need. Now, when you're talking about a pitcher, me personally, I would put it up under my cup. Uh-huh. I mean, if I were going to put a, an illegal substance at your tank. Yeah, right up under the cup. Okay. Who's gonna go check your 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 ball sack? You Why? know, I mean, who's gonna do that on camera? You know, I mean, they're gonna check your glove. And they're gonna be kind of check your hat. And it gonna be kind of obvious though when you're. <laughs> we we adjust our cup all the time. <laughs> but all, we're grabbing our stuff in, all the time. Yeah, not uh, not. Not, under, not going in. Uh, in your pants. <laughs> uh, maybe they are. No, no, no. Maybe I mean, you can know. do it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You do it on the outside of your pants. So, yeah. you know, oh. whenever you adjust your cut. Like an oh, Al Bundy. You're, you're, what, what fingers okay. are hitting it? You call know, it, I mean. Call it the Al Bundy. I, <laughs> the Al Bundy. Well, he's talking about the outside. I mean, I thought he's like sticking stick a pine tar in his ass no, or no, something. No, no, like no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm talking about. Like that. How are you going to get to that? On your pants, up under up under your cup. And, yeah. you know, you, you adjust your cup and you got a little sticky something. So, what when you're, you know, so what does that do for you as a hitter though? Like, explain to me the difference between using a bat without it and using a bat with it. What do you pine tar? Yeah, how does that help? Oh, we swing with such force we wouldn't be able to hold onto the bat. Wow! I mean, we would really? be slinging, we would be slinging bats off the <laughs> backstop left and right. I mean, some guys do it do it anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're talking about the balls. Coming off of our bats a at 100, 115 miles an hour. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. I mean, we're, yeah. You don't want flying objects. Sure. You know, going around the. Clear enough. Going around the. Yeah, those things, the when they go, they go into the stands, man, that's it, scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've seen that. So it's just specific to, to that. There's no. It's mostly pitchers. Yeah. It's mostly for the pitcher's huh. benefit. Interesting. So. Okay, well, if we're on this topic, then I must ask then that that famous that famous scene where um, Billy Martin protested George Brett's bat was that not with pine because he was saying the pine tar uh, was too far up too far. Bat. So what is the advantage then yeah. if pine tar is too far up the bat? That's one of the dumbest rules I've ever heard. In okay, life. it was I mean, just a ticky tack thing. It t- so ticky tack. I mean, that's why you saw George lose it, lose it. And I know the umpire, the umpire. Uh, his name was Tim McClellan, and but he's a straight laced by the book guy. And the fact of the matter is, is you know I think the you can't have pine tar more than seventeen inches up the bat. And con- on the flip side, the the home plate is seventeen inches wide, right? So they took George's bat and they laid it across home plate and there was pine tar like this far you know 18 19 inches up the bat and they threw threw him out of the game i guess i, I <laughs> guess took the home run away i know right took the home run away i guess i don't understand what would the advantage if you put pine tar all the way up your bat <laughs> and and you hit a ball what what happened for a hitter it yeah. can't be that different well, see right? that's that's you're you're getting into some pretty gray areas now because now you have a foreign you're 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 it's just putting a foreign substance on the baseball. Okay, oh, I see. You, you, that's that's what you're trying to right. uh, uh, f- for Major League Baseball. That's what they're trying to uh, prevent. If, if, if I got if it. you put it all the way up the bat, now the pine tar is being transferred to the I baseball, and and you don't want that. To that's happen. that, right? So, man, if, if the, baseball is, baseball's picky, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm sure y'all have some yeah, picky, we got, we got some a picky big, rules big rule they, oh, they, yeah. that you would be like, man, that's stupid. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Why can't we do that? Life is best lived in motion. 
And that's why Tire Pros gets you ready for all your driving adventures. Whether it's along corners and curves, across city and state lines. Because we're more than just tires. We're auto care too. Tire Pros, so you can focus on the road ahead.